The Federal Capital Territory Administration has assured that ongoing distribution of palliatives in area councils across Abuja will be effectively monitored to avoid sharp practices. Minister of State for the FCT, Dr. Ramatu Tijani, says efforts have already been put in place to ensure all residents in need of the palliatives benefit from the ongoing process. Dr. Tijani also tasked residents to remain indoors as the palliatives will be shared on door-to-door -door basis. Our correspondent, Idong Joseph, reports. With the lockdown being experienced in the federal capital, Many residents had high hopes of receiving palliatives from the federal government. After several days of staying indoors, it became increasingly more difficult to enforce the lockdown. Some of them told Plus TV Africa that they needed to go fend for their families. I came here to, to sell my agri agricultural product because I need to feed my family. I need to take care of my children. They don't know what is coronavirus. If government give money to share for people, the people who carry money, they don't deserve money. Nobody collect any cobble. Every me self, they register me. I never receive anything. President announced that they they are making measures for over two million houses households now, but it's not reaching anywhere. They can do it by BVN. If it reaches me, it's going to reach demand that doesn't even have an account number. In a bid to support those desperately in need, the FCT administration assured they would be provided palliatives. After several days of putting modalities in place, the official flag of ceremony finally arrived. About 600,000 bags of palliatives were earmarked to be distributed across the six area councils of Abaji, Amak, Buari, Kwagwalada, Kuji, and Kwali area councils. The FCT Minister of State Dr. Ramatu Tijani says, the items are expected to caution the effect of the sit at home presidential order on the less privileged in the society. Five people multiply by the 100 targeted poor and vulnerable in each area council. That means each area council will be receiving goods targeted as five multiplied by 100,000. That is 500,000 poor and vulnerable people. I think that will go a long way uh, to cushion the effect of the sit at home. Mrs. Tijani says modalities have already been put in place to ensure transparency and avoid corruption during the distribution process. The representatives of the political parties at the lower level, at the ministerial level, we have the senator and the two representatives of the House of Representatives of the Federal Capital Territory representative of the Khan again and the League of Imam, the youth, the women, and then we have civil society organizations. So this will go a long way to ensure inclusivity. We have 62 cameramen, but in our body now, since we are taking it one area council per, per day, we have six video men, six, uh, 10 video men and 10 cameramen to also snap or videotape and upload as it's happening accordingly. The Abajiria Council Chairman Abdurrahman Ajia, while thanking the FCT administration, assured that the palliatives will go a long way to reducing the hardship being faced by residents. Today, we are receiving palliatives in around pushing the effect of this lockdown on our people, most especially the vulnerable ones. We have seen and heard of how these palliatives have been submitted in some states. And the complaints that follow the situation. And I want to assure you that that of FCT, starting from Abaji, is going to be a different one. Mr. Ajia promised that the distribution would be fair and transparent. Coronavirus or COVID 19 doesn't know China, doesn't know religion, and doesn't know. It doesn't have any value. As such, this validity is for all of us, regardless of whether you are indigent or not indigent. If you are invited, we fall within the categories of those that are vulnerable. Idong Joseph, Plus TV Africa.